This is awesome! <laughs> We're hiking to Lake Serene today, which is a 7.2 mile hike. If you skip Bridal Veil Falls, which adds an extra mile, the hike's about a 2,000 foot elevation gain. We did this hike back in August of 2017 to celebrate one year living here. And it was kind of a day like this, a little foggy, rainy. So we're hoping we get some better views than last time, but regardless, it'll be really fun. Um, it's not too busy today. And this is actually our 60th hike of the year, which is super exciting. Um, our original goal was 52, and now we're trying to get to 64. I think we have like four more weekends left, so we'll see if we can get to it. This is so cool! Even though we didn't actually go to the falls, there's so much water that we're able to see like multiple different falls just on the normal trail. I love waterfalls! As former Texans, we still get so pumped whenever we see snow. Even if it's like this little amount, we're like, yeah. This is awesome! <laughs> we made it to the lake and it's a winter wonderland! We were hoping there would be snow, but I saw a photo from two days ago and there wasn't really any snow at all. So I didn't want to get my hopes up too much, but it is gorgeous. It's very cold though. So we made some coffee to keep us warm. We're using our awesome custom Yeti mug that our friend Jess gave us. Jess, you the best. Um, so we're gonna warm up with some coffee before we head back to the trailhead. We finished Lake Serene! Woo Hike number 60 is done! It took us about two hours to get to the lake and that was with stopping to film. And then we spent probably close to 30 minutes there and then it took us probably an hour 45 to get back. So um, it was not too bad of a hike, it was really fun. No, it was a lot of fun. Um, it's pretty flat uphill the whole way obviously, but there's switchbacks and stuff that get pretty tough when you get closer. Um, but then like you get up into the snow and you kind of forget about the switchbacks and it's a lot of fun to play around in the snow and then once you get to the lake though the water was like that so aqua blue, blue like oh, green beautiful. blue against the like stark white of the snow it was just really cool to see yeah so. that that was probably one of my favorite hikes we've done recently that, yeah, that was, was fun gorgeous and the perfect way to kind of kick off our wintry day because next we're heading to leavenworth for their big christmas light show so yeah. for this the third year now that I've really wanted to go. We've never gone because we've been too scared to drive on the wintry roads, but this year we're like, we're doing it. We're going to make it happen. So we're going to Leavenworth for the rest of the day to see the lights, to eat some bratwurst, um, walk around. It's our favorite town. It's a Bavarian village. So it's pretty much the closest you can get to feeling like you're at one of the European Christmas markets without going to Europe. So we're heading there next. We'll see you there. We made it 
it to Leavenworth and the drive was beautiful. We saw so much snow. It was actually my first time ever driving on snowy and icy roads. They weren't really bad at all, but for me it was a big deal being from Texas and all. So I did it. We're here in one piece and yeah, we're super pumped to be here. And we got free parking. Lots of these lots around here are 20 bucks a, a pop, um, but we just kept driving around and the parking gods have been on our side <laughs> recently. Um, so we got it for free. Quite a deal. <laughs> So first things first, we're gonna grab coffee at our favorite coffee shop in Leavenworth called Argonaut Coffee. Right behind us. Yeah, it's a cute, super cute little stand. Um, we come here every single time we're in Leavenworth, sometimes twice in a day. We Oops. love it that much. Oops. So we're gonna grab some coffee and then grab some food and walk around before the light show starts. Yeah, give me coffee, please. <laughs> Online for some sausage, huh? <laughs> All right, we're at Munchen House. I think I said it right. This is our favorite place to eat in Leavenworth. We come here every single time. I got a bratwurst with sauerkraut, onions, jalapenos, and jalapeno mustard. So it's Jalapeno galore right now. Um, again, favorite place to eat here. Can't wait to dig in. And I just got a sausage. Lunch, or I guess it was dinner, or maybe dinner. It was very delicious. Yep, now we're gonna go do a little bit of shopping uh, before the lights come on. My Christmas dream has come true. Mm. That was so beautiful. It was very busy, which we expected. It actually didn't feel as busy as we thought it would feel. I mean, there were definitely a lot of people, but we still had some space around us. We expected it to be like everyone smashed together. Like that one time we went to Rockefeller Center at Christmas. Painful. <laughs> that was horrible. Yeah. yeah, the lighting festivities started about 445, but they do a couple speeches. They sing a few songs. They have like a Bavarian style band out here. Um, so about 15 minutes of that and then they do a little countdown to give you some warning 
So get your camera ready <laughs> and uh, then they light it up. Yeah, I think the lights came on around 5 p.m. So a lot of people were kind of wondering what's going on. So in case you come in the future, um, 5 p.m. is about the time when the lights actually come on. Yeah. So we wish everyone a very, very happy yes. holiday season. We are actually about to kick off a two week road trip from Seattle down to Marfa, Texas and Big Bend. We're gonna spend some time in California, Arizona, New Mexico. And we're gonna go to five national parks throughout the two weeks. We're so pumped. Yeah, gonna scoop up lots of tacos along oh, the way. Oh yeah, <laughs> like basically the whole itinerary is tacos yeah. and national parks. It's, it's around tacos. <laughs> yeah, we're very, very excited. Um, stay tuned, we will have many road trip vlogs to kind of recap what we do on our two week road trip mm -hmm. um, and for everything that we did today we will link to in the description below and um, we also include our six Seattle day trips guide which Leavenworth is one of the day trips on that guide so if you want to come to Leavenworth yourself we have kind of a built-out itinerary it's definitely a little bit more summer focused but there's still stuff you can do in the winter time mm -hmm. so we will see you guys in a few weeks All right. and I just got a <laughs> <laughs> I'll try that again. <laughs> and I just got a sausage. No bun for me. <laughs> Can't do it. Okay, I'll try again. Be mature. Be mature, Catherine.